All right, it's 92 degrees today in Orlando and we are at Universal and we're gonna tell you how to beat the heat and how to prepare for the parks this summer. We're starting out with a refill in our freestyle cup, so let's go. So we always recommend having a freestyle cup because you can definitely refill these all day long with anything that you want. And even if you don't want a freestyle cup, check out the freestyle machines because you can get free water. Staying hydrated is such an important part of like surviving at the theme parks over the summer. You didn't have to get that. That was just genuinely me drink. Another obvious way to keep cool during the summer is to ride some water rides. Islands of Adventure has three water rides that are super fun and will definitely keep you cool on a warm, warm day. There are two water rides in Toon Lagoon. Dudley Doo rips off falls and there's Popeye and Blue Toes. The other water ride here in Jurassic Park and that it's a uh, Jurassic Park River Adventure. Plus, you can stand in splash zones near all of the rides and have a chance of getting splashed when the rides come down and make their big splashes. Which one's your favorite? Uh, Jurassic Park River Adventure is definitely my favorite. It's the only one I've ridden, <laughs> and they're dinosaurs. I'm sure Deadly Dudes Rips Off Falls is great. Uh, I would like to do it someday. Maybe today. Maybe today. So a few things we packed in our bag for today. Uh, we have a few of these towels that you get wet and kind of snap. Uh, they keep you kind of moist and damp and cool. Uh, obviously we've talked about this, but you can bring your own water bottle. Uh, we got one of the uh, refillable souvenir mugs, but if you bring your own, that'll work as well. I brought a sun hat, and I didn't bring a hat at all, but this is good protection for my ears and my neck. Obviously bring your sunglasses as well. Hannah has on uh, some sandals. Um, I have some Tevas, but I don't think they're very comfortable. So if we do a water ride, uh, I just brought a change of socks. So I would change these socks into some more dry socks and that'll kind of get you through the rest of the day. Another thing that we like to pack in our park bag is gonna be sunscreen, especially for me because I'm so pale, I need sunscreen on me at pretty much all times especially around my face, so definitely remember your sunscreen. So this is the Discovery Center. It's also a good place to cool down. They have a restaurant in here called Burger Diggs. Uh, and I believe this restaurant uh, stays open the latest out of all restaurants in this park. There's a gift shop upstairs, and then downstairs there's a place for, uh, for kids to do games and activities. And it's also located right beside the Velocicoaster. So if you eat here, you've got good views of the whole entire park and the Velocicoaster as it comes down the hill. And most importantly, it is air conditioned. Feels really nice. All right, another really good place to cool down is in Camp Jurassic, specifically in the caves. They pump AC in here and it's like shaded from the sun at all times, which is super, super nice. Plus, if you've never been in here, it's just super neat. So something that Levi kind of already talked about is to make sure that you pack well and honestly I didn't do a great job of what I'm wearing today because I'm wearing really dark colors but he's fine. Light colors is a really good way to stay cool in the parks. Make sure you're wearing light things. Make sure that you're going to wear shorts like don't wear pants just do whatever you need to do to be able to wear shorts to the parks. And make sure you bring two good pairs of shoes because even if you have one pair of shoes that you like, you might get them wet or they might just start hurting your feet and you need to change them. Wild cherry? Sure. Not green apple. So when you buy one of these souvenir cups, you can also get unlimited refills on ices. So not just freestyle drinks, but any kind of icy that you want in the parks. Another great way to beat the heat is to eat somewhere inside. It's so, so relieving when you go and sit down to eat indoors somewhere. So we love the Today Cafe. You also have like a Mel's Diner over in Studios, the Leaky Cauldron. Just find somewhere indoors. If you're over at Islands of Adventure, there's a lot of indoor places to eat. The Three Broomsticks, uh, Thunder Falls, Burger Digs, Cafe Four, Captain America's Diner. There are so many indoor places to eat. Do not eat outside. You can also make sure you plan your indoor rides for the hottest part of the day. So if you're in studios, things like The Mummy, Jason Bourne, Minions, Jimmy Fallon, they all have indoor queues. Uh, whereas something like Rip Rod Rocket, you're standing outside. 
Um, so that's something to consider when you're trying to plan your day ahead of time. At Islands, your indoor cues are going to be uh, Cat in the Hat, Spider-Man, um, The Forbidden Journey, and Hogsmeade. And the Velocicoaster, if it's not too long of a wait, most of that queue is inside and it's really good AC. Uh, things like the Hulk, I guess, are technically inside, but it feels like open air and it gets really hot sometimes. Um, Hagrid's, I believe, is also mostly outside until you get to the end. All right, another quick thing, you definitely need to hit up King's Cross when it's so hot outside because it's the best air conditioning in the parks. Like, I can literally feel it from here and it's like 30 feet away from me. I'm literally standing here basking in air conditioning. Try it. She's not lying. You can feel it from here. Another place with really good air conditioning, but it's really loud in here, is going to be the arcade at Universal Studios Florida. It is so cold in here right now and I am clearly sweating. The arcade is connected to the exit of the mummy so if you get off of the mummy you can take a look around this gift shop, be in the cool AC and then go out through the arcade. For some reason it's always significantly more cool in Diagon Alley. The so, reason is that it's pretty much covered everywhere. Yeah, that is kind of true. So definitely come to Diagon Alley. It's going to be a little crowded, but it really, really is a little bit cooler than everywhere else in the parks. And even cooler than Diagon Alley is going to be Nocturne Alley. It's completely covered and it's dark. And honestly, there are benches to hang out on and it's perfect for a hot day. I think this is the last tip I have about freestyle cups, but it is to refill them inside because there are so many places outside where you can refill your freestyle cups, but we like to refill them inside in restaurants because you get the AC. Another good thing to do is just hang out in the stores for a little bit. There's a lot of cool merchandise and it's specific to each store. So the Tribute store right now is Jurassic Park themed. A lot of neat stuff in there. There's a big Universal store right at the uh, entry of studios. And, and then you'll find like little Hello Kitty stores and Transformer stores that are like right outside the rides. Um, just take your time in there. If you want some specific merch, you can go hunt for it. That's always kind of fun. Um, but it's also just a good way to, to catch an AC. The last thing I'll say, it's the most important thing. You need to take a break and go back to the hotel midday because it's hot and a break is definitely worth it. Universal has some really good pool areas at their hotels that are nice to hang out at and we highly suggest doing that during the hottest parts of the day because you'll be able to cool down and really enjoy that hotel time. It's nice out here, a ton of chairs to hang out in. They got a little beach bar over there. So if you want to see our tour of Dockside, we will link that for you here. But other than that, we will see you in our next video. Hope you have some fun at Universal this summer. Go take a nap, change to our swimsuits. <laughs>